Hello, welcome to my channel, Heaven.Designs. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this wonderful YouTube logo using Corel Draw on a flower. So let's get on to it. Pick the ellipse circle, ellipse to uh, click and drag, hold down your control to make a perfect circle. Right, so you can duplicate this circle. Overlay and duplicate. Highlight the two circles and um, uh, let's do intersect. So intersect just creates an extra image of the both uh, overlay circle. Okay, so you can delete the other one. Just you need it on an outline. So you click on the center of the object to change the rotation points I want to change the center to this point then you can rotate it okay rotate this with your gear right click to duplicate and select both image right now we are going to use uh, the theme you cut out the portion that is intersected okay so we delete this path this is what we want so uh, to just make it look have this flower like look okay adjust the curves on this edge all right uh, give it a few can apply a gradient on it with interactive feel too click and drag okay so um, this portion i would have to use or let's use the red let's use the red i love uh, rgb colors i think uh, let's use the rgb plate okay the colors are more brighter okay so let's use the red then on this second part I'll pick the yellow okay so just adjust this gradient you can add as many colors as possible if you want all right so for this simple colors we have here then now we click on the center of this object change the center again to here then adjust the gear to rotate okay so you can see how you smoothly overlay the control r to repeat the action and this is what we have all right but this thing there is a little a little uh, I will take it off. I want it to overlay equally, so let me overlay it. Make sure I see. Uh, see shut up. So, how many do we even have? Let's see to solve that problem or challenge. So, you have about one, two, you have about um, seven of them so 360 divided by seven that will help us solve that so we can rotate it evenly okay so 360 divided by seven so if you rotate at an angle of 51.42 degrees okay so let's um get the transform the transform to let's get the transform to so we just enter the size of the angle okay if you are looking the manual at 54 you want to do this uh, let's get the transform to that will help us 
increment the okay so this is a transform to uh, the figure where is the divide by seven fifty one point four so we copy this select was enter already go to the rotate tab see the angle right so if you apply one after the other you can see how this evenly spreads out okay so that's that is how to get that solve if you happen to get in any of such challenge right so this is what we have this is what we have so um, uh, we need the outline so I just want to have this golden view so um, remove the view take the outline let's make it 0.3 or uh, four should be fine. See four, okay, four or five. Let's use five. Okay. Then when you can convert this outline to an object, so it can be fillable. So you hold on your control, shift, and you. I convert control shift plus Q convert the outline to an object so you can be able to fill it in with color. So with the interactive field to running over it, you can uh, interactive field to let me see. I think this is fine. You can now choose to make this golden look on it, just add gradients, click on the color, drag and drop it on this line. So it just gets you the gradient. Okay. Okay, this is just fine. So you can uh, you take off the other outline, take this one, and put on it. You see how beautiful this looks. Okay. So you can have this. I love this one. I just duplicate another copy of that file. You take this, this one, and uh, put it on this. Okay. So I want to have different colors of this shade. Okay, so. We do red, uh, let's do a green. Let's just have different shades. Let's do a green and um, blue. Okay, so just make it as nice as you would love it to be. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm fine by this. So this is it. See this monochrome color, and you can see this. So this is how to make 
this simple flower logo. If you are new to this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, so this video can benefit both the professional and upcoming designer out there. Okay, if you have any question, just drop it in the comment section below and I'll be right there to answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.